As a student of statistics or data science, have you ever come across the terms correlation and causation, but don't really know what exactly do they mean and how are they related to each other? Then you have come to the right place because in this video, I'm going to help you find answers to all your questions around correlation and causation. So hey everyone, this is Navneet Kaur. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well and amazing. So in this video, we're going to cover the topics correlation and causation. Whenever you are studying statistics subject, you must have read this statement that correlation doesn't imply causation. Now, what does this statement exactly mean and why is it important to understand this? We will gonna uncover all of this in this particular video today. So stay tuned till the end. So without any further ado, let's get quickly started with our topic. So let's now start with the concept of correlation. So in statistics, the term correlation means whenever you are trying to understand or study the relationship between any two variables, that means you are applying the concept of correlation. So basically correlation means trying to understand and measure the relationship between two variables is correlation. So let's take an example. Let's say you are meditating on a daily basis and you want to know how it how it is impacting your stress levels. So here meditation is the first variable and stress level is the second variable. So you're trying to understand the relationship between these two variables. How are they related to each other? So that's when you are trying to apply the concept of correlation. Now, depending upon the relationship or the pattern which the two variables follow, the correlation can be of three types. First, positive correlation, second, negative correlation, and the third one is zero correlation. So all of these are self-explanatory. So let's start with first one that is positive correlation. As the name is suggesting, when the variables are positively correlated to each other, means when you find a pattern that the both of the variables or the number of variables you are studying, they are moving in the same direction. Either they are increasing or they are decreasing. That is when the variables are positively correlated to each other. For example, let's say variables such as income and expenditure. So you have uh, identified the pattern that when the income is increasing, the expenditure is also increasing. So here the, these two variables are positively correlated to each other. Second one is negative correlation. So whenever you identify a negative pattern between two variables, meaning when one variable goes in one direction, the other variable goes in the other direction. Mean, meaning when the one variable increases, the other one is decreasing. So that is when the type of negative correlation is there. So for example, in case of price of a product and demand of a product, if the price of a product is increasing, the demand of the product is decreasing over a period of time. So whenever you identify this kind of pattern, it means the variables are negatively correlated to each other. Now the third one is zero correlation. So as the name is suggesting, when you cannot find any specific pattern between the variables so that you can establish a relationship between them, that is when you will say that there is zero correlation, meaning you were not able to identify the pattern that whether the variables are moving in the same direction or they are moving in the opposite direction, right? That is when we will say that there is zero correlation between the variables. Now in statistics, we denote or we depict the correlation between given variables by small r, which is called correlation coefficient. So the value of small r will help you identify the correlation between the variables. Always remember small r, the value of small r always lies between minus 1 and plus 1. So this is the range. The value of r cannot be greater than plus 1 and it cannot be lesser than minus 1, right? So when the value of r is equal to 0, this implies that the variables are not having any kind of relationship between them because r is 0. Similarly, if r is equal to plus 1, it means the variables are perfectly positively correlated to each other. And the opposite is if r is equal to minus 1, which means the variables are perfectly negatively correlated to each other. So correlation is basically the concept which helps you to understand the degree and direction of the relationship between the variables, whether they are having a positive or negative correlation and whether it is of, of a high degree or a low degree. I hope you're clear now. But having been related to each other, does it mean that change in one variable causes the change in the other variable? Not necessary. So here comes the concept of causation. Now what is causation? 
So basically, when the variables are having a cause and effect relationship between them, that is when you will say that there is the causation between the variables or you can say there is causal relationship between variables that is when one variable is affecting the other variable. So here if the variables are two so one will be dependent variable and the other one will be independent variable such that the change in the independent variable will cause a change in the dependent variable. So whenever you come across any such situation or any such relationship between variables it means those variables are having a cause and effect relationship between them. For example, let's say uh, the one variable is number of hours you study in a day and the second variable is overall grades. So when you increase the number of hours you study per day, you identified that your overall grades also start increasing. So here both of these variables are firstly positively correlated to each other. Why? Because when you are increasing the number of hours you study, your overall grades are also increasing. Second thing, these two variables have a cause and effect relationship between them. Why? Because one variable is independent and the other variable is dependent. Now, which one is independent? Number of hours you study. And which one is the dependent variable? Your overall grades. So as soon as you increase your number of hours to study in a day, it will impact the overall grades and they will also increase, right? So they are positively related to each other plus they have a causal relationship between them. So causation means whenever, whenever the variables are having a causal relationship between them and one variable is the dependent and the other one is the independent. So by now you must have understood the concept of correlation and causation. Now just have a look at the statement. So what does this statement say? Correlation doesn't always imply causation but causation always imply correlation. Now what does this statement exactly mean? It is very important for you to understand this that correlation and causation are not one and the same. So uh, let's break it down into two statements. The first is correlation doesn't imply causation. Always remember if the two variables are related to each other or you are able to find a pattern or a relationship between the variables, it is not necessary that they are having the cause and effect relationship between them. For example, let's say you have taken one variable as the sale of ice creams and the other variable as sale of air conditioners. Okay, now you have um, been given, now you've been given data of the sale of ice creams and air conditioners of the last two months. So when you were studying the data, you identified the pattern that the data of the sale of ice cream and sale of air conditioners, the sale of both of these products increased over the past two months. Okay, so you were able to find a pattern, you were able to find a relationship that yes, okay, both the, the sale of the both of the products increased over the last two months. So here you can safely say that these variables are positively correlated to each other because you are able to identify the pattern and relationship between them and that too in the positive direction, right? But can you say that the sale of ice cream caused an increase in the sale of air conditioners? or the sale of air conditioners caused an increase in the sale of ice creams? No, you cannot say. Because these variables, the sale of these two variables have nothing to do with each other. Because there is some another third common factor which is causing the increase in the sale of ice creams and air conditioners. And what is that? Summer season. So here, because of that third common factor which is affecting the two variables in our hand, this implies that the variables are not having any cause and effect relationship. So always remember if the variables are correlated to each other, it doesn't imply causation. Okay. Second is sometimes though the variables are correlated to each other, but it is uh, difficult to identify which one is the cause and which one is the effect. Let's say, uh, let's, let's take an example of two variables, stress level and low grades have identified that stress level is increasing and grades are decreasing but you're not exactly able to establish which one is the cause and which one is the effect 
does the stress level making your grades low or because your grades are low that is why you are getting stressed right so here both of these variables do have a relationship between them they are correlated to each other but it is difficult to identify which one is the cause and which one is the effect okay now the second statement is causation always imply correlation so what does this statement mean this statement means that whenever the variables are having cause and effect relationship between them they must be correlated to each other it is very obvious right let's say let's take an example which we took in the very beginning of the video that uh, meditation and stress level so meditation you increase your meditation on a daily basis you do meditation and your stress level so you have identified that with uh, over time when you do meditation your stress level starts to decrease okay so here meditation is the independent variable and stress level is the dependent variable because stress level decreased due to meditation right because meditation is affecting the change in the stress level so here the variables are having a cause and effect relationship plus they are negatively correlated to each other right because correlation is the base of the causation causation cannot happen without correlation without the relationship between variables right so always remember correlation doesn't imply causation but causation always and always imply correlation i hope this is clear to you so i hope now you understand the terms correlation and causation how are they related to each other and why is it important to understand the difference between these two and i'm sure now you have your answer to the question that why correlation doesn't always imply causation but causation always imply correlation so this is all for today's video i hope you find it useful and informative if yes do hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such informative videos i'll meet you in the next video very soon till then stay happy and stay motivated and thank you so much for watching